you got some news involving a uh, Russian tennis player, uh, Yana Sizakova. Uh, this is a very interesting story. Uh, she was released from custody in a match fixing case on Friday. Um, there's a lot going on here, Mario. So she was arrested in Paris on Thursday after competing in a doubles match, and she was not formally charged, but she is still under investigation. Uh, says that COVID denies all wrongdoing and wants to file a complaint for defamation. Uh, and prosecutors say that she was arrested for sports bribery and organized fraud for acts that were likely committed in September of 2020. Uh, and the case was opened last October by French police units specialized in betting fraud and match fixing. And it has previously worked with... Um, Bel uh, Belgian authorities investigating sus uh, investigating suspect matches uh, in at lower levels of pro tennis. Uh, and French tennis cannot uh, provide further info because the investigation is still ongoing, which is a rule for most leagues. They can't really do that kind of stuff. Um, and I have a quote from Shizakova's lawyer, uh, Frederick Bellot. He said, and I quote, uh, she was placed in custody like a criminal. She said she is innocent and did not want me to assist her. Uh, during her question because she considers herself like a victim. Uh, and the source for this was ESP and Associated Press. Um, you know, Amari, let me go first, okay? This is, see, we, we already talked about something similar to this before. Um, but this is different. This isn't a different case, but um, I don't know what to think, dude, because she got arrested for it, but she's denying it. So maybe there's something here that we don't know of. I, I don't know. I can't tell you. That's why these cases are so, so, so tough, man, because um, I don't know what to say, dude. Like, first of all, you know, a lot of, you know, match fixing, you know, there's a lot of that. You know, there's, we, we see a lot of rumors of it in, like, you know, some people speculate it in things like football, which, you know, most, you know, sometimes people believe that's very, very common to happen, you know, in other sports as well that happens, but. Honestly, Mario, I don't know. I really, I really don't know. This is this is a pretty crazy situation. It's very, very bizarre too. Um, she was arrested for it, so maybe there is something going on here. She she denies all the wrongdoing and she wants to file a complaint for defamation. So maybe she she's being thrown under the bus. I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't. I I really couldn't because if she's denying it, but she got arrested, maybe there's something going on here that we just don't know. But either way, this should not be happening. You know what I mean? Whether it was her doing it or someone else entirely, I, I couldn't tell you. Again, you know, she was arrested for it. She's denying it. She's filing a complaint for defamation. There's definitely something here that we're missing. Or they're missing anyway. They're the ones investigating, not me. But, um, or you at that, Mario. But um, it this is tough, man. It really is because... I don't, I don't know who, what's going, I don't know who did this. I don't, no one does that. No one does anyway, but it's, it's a very confusing situation, Mario. It really is. Um, and if there is an update on this, we'll, we'll, we'll let you guys know about it. I feel like it's the, we're not, we're definitely not going to uh, hear the end of this, at least for a while that is. So um, if there is an update, we'll let you guys know, but this is a very, very confusing situation, Mario. And honestly, if again, you know, she was arrested, but if she's denying something and she's filing a complaint, um, I just, I, I feel like there's something missing, but again, I could be wrong. Maybe she actually did do it. And if so, again, shame on her, you know, that's something you can't be doing as an athlete. Um, but the, overall, the situation is just very bizarre. It shouldn't be happening in the first place. It, it's just so confusing. It really is. There's just, there's a lot going on and yet I still feel like there's something missing. So, um, with that being said, I'm not going to wish anybody the best of luck because again, we just don't know the full details, you know, but with that being said, I just, if there's a, there is nothing on this, we'll let you guys know, but there's just really not a lot for me to say because it's a very confusing situation here. Right. Well, I'll tell you one thing that's missing evidence. Cause there, it doesn't seem like they, I, from the article, it doesn't seem like there is any right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. But again, we don't know if she did this or not. Okay. We just don't know. Now, obviously, this is pretty serious if she did, you know, again, shame on her because you are a professional tennis player. I don't know why people want to like, all right, so bribing like recruit like re for recruiting, like it's wrong. Absolutely. And uh, it, it's absolutely wrong. But here's the thing with competition. I don't understand why you if she did do this, because we don't know if she did or not. Nate. I don't understand why you wouldn't want to earn your own wins. That's my problem. Like, like, how are you going to how are you going to look? How are you going to look at your knowing that like hey i didn't actually win this match this this uh official over here gave it to me i don't know how people could look at themselves like that now again i'm not saying she did do it okay but i'm not saying she didn't because 
we don't know. We don't have all the information. So now, according to her, she's again, she's filing a complaint for defamate, uh, defamation, which again, you know, that's pretty serious stuff too. And I feel like this is going to be an ongoing process, Nate. I really do. I, I just feel like this is not going to end anytime soon. But look, man, I don't know what I'm no, I don't know what's going to happen now. While this is still under investigation, as far as the uh, tennis organizations, the uh, the four uh, the four tour organizations, I don't know what they're going to do either. You know, I don't know how how are they going to how are they going to handle this situation? Because I have no clue. I couldn't I couldn't explain something. Do you do you suspend her from the tournaments until this investigation is over? Do you keep her and let her continue? We don't know. But again, look, here's the now if this is part of match fixing and this is what she's accused of. Again, shame on her. I don't understand. You're a professional athlete. Why wouldn't you want to earn your own wins if you did do this? You know, it doesn't make any sense. If she didn't, then you got to be careful with who you're accusing, you know? It's just as simple as that. We don't know exactly what happened. Um, there's not a lot of info on this case, Nate, so I really can't say a lot. All I know is she was uh, she was arrested on um, on match fixing in, like, bribery. So we don't know exactly what's going on here, Nate. So... I don't know. And as far as doubles, as far as like doubles with her uh, partner, I believe her partner's name is her partner's name is I'm looking at it's in the article somewhere. I'm just going to find it real quick. Her partner is named. I don't know why it's taking so long to find her partner name, but Madison, uh, Madison Brangle. So that's that was the, that's her partner for the doubles uh, tournament, Madison Brangle. Now again, what who knows what happens between those two? You know, Madison Brangle is still a, co a competitor in that doubles tournament. So what happens with her? You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, does she find a new teammate? Does she keep? Does she keep? Uh, Zizakova until until they figure this whole thing out again? There's a lot of questions that need to be answered, Nate. So I really can't make like a full like opinion on it. We don't know exactly whether she did this or not. There's not enough evidence to say she did. But again, that doesn't mean she didn't do it as well. So we just don't know. You know, if an update comes out, we'll let you guys know. But as of now, there's just not enough information to go by. So with that being said, I'm not going to wish anybody the best of luck, but the uh, everybody involved in the investigation. Hopefully that they can find justice in what actually is going on. And yeah, Nate, we'll see as time, we'll see as time goes on what exactly what happened.